Hello everyone and welcome back to Persona 5 Royal. In the last session, we finally, <laughs> finally, finally did mementos. What a shocker. It actually happened. And uh, it went pretty well. I, I, I enjoyed it a lot more than I actually expected to going into it. So I guess I won't be as, as afraid of doing a bunch of mementos parts in future as I was this time. Uh, so yeah, we did that. We also did the twins next confidant thingy. And then we got a text from the journalist, and I believe that's who we're going to see now. Hey! Come on, let's hop on the JL. Go out here and head through the ticket gates on the right. Okie doke. Huh? You sure? Oh. Downstairs. I, I knew that. Yes. I definitely knew that. Uh. Wait, does he mean ticket gates over that way, or. God damn it. <laughs> One day I will get this right. Oh, JL. There we go. There we go. Wait, that's green. But didn't he say on your right? Yeah. Okay, never mind. That is the way. <laughs> One day I will figure out Shinjuku. Cool. There's even more places. Man, this is great. They're opening up so many places. Like, at the start, it was just pretty much school and home. And then it's just. Here's another city, and here's another city, and here's another city. <laughs> it's like, it's just so much. A hot spot of Tokyo known for its nightlife and downtown shopping. Even if you're not old enough to drink, you're welcome to sit and chat. Hmm. All right. Hey. Shinjuku's outside of the area where your commuter pass works, right? You'll have to pay a fare. Wow, that's not fair. Ha! Terrible joke. I'm so sorry <laughs> that you had to listen to that. Right. Whoa. Even at night, this place is bright as hell. I guess that's Shinjuku for you. Hey. Stop looking around so much. You look like a tourist. Whoa. Uh, I was just trying to find that place we're looking for. Crossroads bars right up ahead. I'm sure we'll get there if we keep going straight. Now the question is, how much is it going to let me explore around? Or is it just going to be... Actually, it's not that big. Fair enough. I'm curious whether it will be like, no, you must go straight to your destination. Uh, so it looks like there is a... Wait, no, that's the way out. Uh, ah, just here. There's another cinema. Curious. I wonder what the difference is. Oh. A movie theatre. Wonder if anything good's playing. Well, we don't got time for that today. Let's find the bar first. You know me. Gotta check out a new place. Doesn't look like there's any stores that way. Let's go that way, where there's more people. Just kind of curious. Hey. Come on, let's hurry it up and find that place called Crossroads. Is it? I think it seems like it's just not going to let me examine stuff. Nightlife Center. Hmm. An info desk? I'm getting a sketchy vibe from this place. We don't got to ask around. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, maybe, maybe it won't let me. Bar promoter. Welcome to our Izakaya. How about some all-you-can-drink booze on the cheap? Wait, you underage? Nope. Oh, in that case, come in for an hour or two. How did you get caught up in this? Come on, ignore him. <laughs> hey man, you want to come play? Touch all you want. No added fees. We have the cutest girl. Okay. <laughs> I'm not interested. Come on, I'll make it cheap. What do you say? Just ignore that guy, you idiot. No matter what way you cut it, he's a shady character. Yes, it certainly seems that way. Flower shop. Hey. Hmm. But damn, this place is open till 5 in the morning. Who's buying flowers that late? Hmm. That is curious. I wonder if it's a front for something else, something more shady. Huh. Wait. Huh. Interior furnishing shop, it says it's closed at night. Oh, okay. I skimmed it because I assumed he was just going to be telling me, you can't go here. And I was like, wait, did it say it's only open at night? But they... Okay, right, let's just go straight to the place then, because... You have a moment? No, actually. Are you a student? You shouldn't be out this late. I'm an adult. I mean, probably best not lie. I don't know if he can, like, send us away or anything. I'm a college student. I'm old enough. Oh, yeah. 
We're adults, you see? Hmm? Are you a friend of his? Wait a second. I've seen the pattern on those pants before. TV on the news. Oh, yeah. It was on that segment about the teacher who was harassing kids. Is that a school uniform? Oh, shit. Yep. Now, you kids have got to be high schoolers. Come with me. Shoot. This is why I said uniforms were a bad idea. Let's run. How much longer until we get there? Wait, did we actually just run? Or... Hey, it ain't our fault we had to deal with that detour. Our school's getting real famous. Okay, where am I now? Uh, just down that little side excuse bit. Excuse me. Fortune teller, excuse me. Hello. For the blonde one, I can sense impending woman troubles. Or perhaps it's something else. Helpful. It's either this or not. <laughs> In any case, horrible disaster is coming for you. Please, let me examine your future further. Ah, oh, it's a classic. It's a classic. I see dark things in your future. Pay me, and I'll tell you more. <laughs> and then you've already hooked people in, some people, by that point. What? Me? Yes, I suggest you get your fortune told. What I say will surely come to pass. Uh, more of this shit? Sorry, but we're in a hurry. And I don't really believe in that stuff anyways. I see. My apologies. However, if you change your mind, I'll be waiting here in this spot at night. That is some red text. So that is probably important to remember. May your fortunes be well. So I guess she's just not here in the afternoon. Interesting. Only in the evening. Okay. I will bear that in mind, I guess. Anyone else want to stop us on our way to the pub? Was it here? Whoa, Whoa. Man. We ain't old enough to hang out here. You sure this is the place? Well, it does have a big bar crossroads sign above it. Beer, whiskey, wine. Looks like nighttime is bar time. Going in our uniforms is probably a bad idea. We got caught last time, too. <laughs> You're useless. Just wait outside, man. I came all the way to Shinjuku and can't even go in? Them's the brakes. Ugh, fine. I'll kill time somewhere nearby. Just let me know when you're done. <sighs> See you, dude. Welcome, welcome. How old are you, boy? Sorry, Lala-chan. He's with me. Ooh, you picked up a real young one this time. Just don't let a minor drink alcohol, okay? This time? Ah, uh, should I be worried? Lala-chan, I'm gonna borrow the seats in the back. Go on back there. I'll treat you to some water. Oh, gee, thanks. Fresh from the tap? You shouldn't have. Ah, oh, she reeks of booze. <laughs> what a surprise. I thought you were joking, yet here you are. I respect that bravery, so I'll listen to what you have to say. Well, what do you want to know? Who controls Shibuya? Oh. <laughs> yeah, that sobered you up, didn't it? Why that? I need intel on their boss. Hmm. Well, I do happen to know something about that. I could tell you, but... But you need to down another glass first. Do you know the Phantom Thieves of Hearts? You know, that case the public has been focused on lately. I may have heard of them. I was pursuing the issue of people randomly entering into a shutdown state, but I'm lacking intel. That's why I'm currently looking for new material to write about. So, do you have any info on these phantom thieves? Are those your terms? Is it a swapsy of information? <laughs> Something like that. You're a Shujin kid, right? I remember you wearing their uniform the last time we met. I thought maybe you might have some insider knowledge on the Phantom Thieves because of it. Their first incident was that of Kamoshida, you know? Ideally, I'd like to get some exclusive coverage from a student who suffered Kamoshida's abuse. I would love an introduction if you know of someone who fits the bill. Seems both you and I can't really do our stuff out in the open, so... What do you say? Hmm... A student who suffered from abuse. I mean... 
Kind of harsh if we were to give her aunt's name. Oh, what about that Mishima guy? He always seems to be on the side of the Phantom Thieves. Okay, didn't think of that. <laughs> so, our only choice here is to fuck Mishima over. Give his name to a journalist. Okay. I'm sorry, dude. I accept your offer. It's a deal, then. Send me your friend's contact info later. You'd better be thankful. My quick wit is the only reason we're getting this far. All right. Let me stroke you before you fucking stroke your ego too much. Now that I think about it, those mental shutdowns and the Phantom Thieves both seem supernatural. Could they be related? Or am I just hoping for a coincidence? Lady, I've been saying that since the start. <laughs> oh, sorry. I have a tendency to talk to myself on occasion. Well then, you can't exactly consider this an upfront payment, but... Junya Kaneshiro. Junya Kaneshiro. I think he's probably the guy you're looking for. Yes! You should check him out further if you're curious. But I'm not responsible for what happens next. Fair enough. Lala-chan, can I get a refill for this kid? A refill of water? We need Woo. to make a toast to our new acquaintance. It'll be a problem if you stay too long. You should leave right after you finish your water. Well, thanks, I guess. Yes! All right, we did it. We finally got info on the target. Let's meet up with Ryuji. P P P P. How'd it go? Nailed it. For real? <laughs> For real? Awesome. Anyways, we should meet up ASAP. I'll be in front of the movie theater, so head on over. It's that kind of open area you pass on your way to the bar. So we just have to go back the way we came, huh? All right, let's go. Why is that voice line from Morgana? actually voiced, but the previous ones just before the text messages weren't. That's strange. Um, hey twins. Y you okay there? <laughs> right, is it going to let us have a look-see at stuff now? Goodness, they sell so many different things here. Do pawn shops make a lot of money? Oh well, let's meet up with Ryuji for now. Okay, I guess not. It's just going to keep saying that, isn't it? I really want to try the bookstore, though. Hey, hey. Looks like this store has tons of unusual books. It may be wise to go buy some here one day. Cool. Cool. Love me some unusual books. Right. Uh, hi. Hey. I'm tired of waiting. You get any dirt on our next target? For real? Junior Kaneshiro? Not so loud. Junior Kaneshiro and enter. All right. There we go. Okay, now we just got to get some info on the distortion. Once we know that, it's palace time. Wait. Let's try tomorrow. It'll be better when we have the whole team together. Right. I'll tell everyone to meet up in Shibuya. Dude. This is totally crazy though. It's a huge catch. I'm pumped. Ooh, you're right. He really would be a natural. But a graphic tee with plaid pants. Is it plaid or plaid? Can't remember how that's pronounced. It looks like it's plaid, but I thought, as I as I said the word, my brain fired off a, no, that's wrong, neuron. <laughs> I don't know. Ugh, kill me now. Whoa, who the hell are they? Oh, hell has nothing to do with it, honey. I'm Angel, straight out of heaven. And I'm Julian. Julie, if you're feeling saucy. What a cutie. You'd never guess he was into the drag scene. I say we show him the ropes. You can't deny it. We saw you peeking into crossroads. Well, sweetie, if you're curious, we'll help you look divine. Whoa. What? <laughs> Wait, hey, it's not like that. Dude, help. Tell them we were just investigating or something. <laughs> can't fly a cover, but you're a natural. Knock him dead. You're just gonna leave me here like this? Come on, your best friend's in trouble here. Oh, honey, you've got the chutzpah. And those cheekbones, I love it. That's what it takes to be a star. Just follow my lead, stud. We're gonna put your name in lights. 
and I know just the dress for you. Gah! Um. Well, uh, hopefully Ryuji finds his calling, or at least makes it out alive. <laughs> what? That's so random. Head back? That is so random. Hey, there's nothing else for us to do here, right? Let's head home for the night. Pee 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 pee. Did you find any clues? I have a name. You did it! Well then, let's meet up at the hideout tomorrow. Understood. Ryuji seems to be absent from this conversation. Should we contact him separately? I'm sure he'll figure it out later when he checks his phone. Later. I'll figure it out when he checks his phone later. Words. In orders. In Kaneshiro's palace. That was surprisingly easy. Was it though? With like nine days left? Do, 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 do. Hey, hey. Did you notice on the way home? The cats are back in Yongan. Also, I overheard the owners talking. It sounds like Aino turned herself in. Once she pays for her crimes, apparently she's going to volunteer to take care of stray cats. I hope things go well. I agree. I doubt she remembers me, but maybe I'll go visit her someday. Yeah. I made a promise after all. <sighs> Shinjuku sure was crazy, huh? Pee 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 pee. We got a new post about that old man who was stirring up trouble in Kichi Joji. Sounds like he and his son went around apologizing to everyone in Harmony Alley. It was like he was a totally different person, begging them on his knees for forgiveness and all. Sounds like a change of heart. Yep, it went perfectly. Nice work as always. All this stuff about family had me worried about Yusuke, but it looks like things worked out okay. I'm kind of happy too. Pee 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 pee, hello Mishima again. Oh, we're gonna get a lot of texts from you in a row, aren't we? Hey, some girl just messaged me saying you told her about me. Oh, oh, oh no! I thought it was going. I thought it was going to give us a text for every uh, every mementos target that we took down. But that's the journalist. She said she's interested in me. What's this about? <laughs> and what kind of what kind of girl is Oya-san? Is she cute or is she hot? Is there a difference? Totally cute, definitely hot, you'll see. I feel like that's pretty much the same thing, but sure. Uh, you'll see. Don't tease me, I'm gonna lose sleep over this. Oh yes, son. She said she wanted to talk. How much more forward can a girl get? Oh, you're gonna be so disappointed. Is this really what I think it is? Could it be? <laughs> you'll find out. Man, I'm so looking forward to this. This is all thanks to you. I'm so sorry. I feel like starting the fan side has really changed me. Anyway, I can handle this. You, sh you introduce me, so I'll make sure I don't embarrass you. And I'll totally let you know if we end up hooking up. <laughs> oh, he's going to get such a fucking disappointment. God. Oh, I can check like this. Oh, it's lit up. So that means it does need something, right? Hey, hey. Sweet. Oh, I've only got the cheap ones. Crap. I guess it would be better to wait a day and go get good plant nutrients rather than do a cheap one now and then have to wait like two weeks before I can do the next one, I guess. So we'll wait a day. Let's try going to Shinjuku again. It seems like there were a lot of places worth checking out, for sure. Right, Morgana sat down, so we can't leave the house, but we can do activities in the house. Mm. Shinjuku, the city that never sleeps. It's a fascinating place, don't you think? We should go back sometime. We should. What's on TV, and is there a crossword? There is not a crossword. We have an update on the arson case at a factory for restaurant giant Hanaruya. The arrested employee continues to state that he cannot recall ever committing the crime. With no testimony to link to, mot to a motivation, the cause remains unclear. Incidents with suspects whose motives are unclear have been happening often in the restaurant industry. Hey, hey. There's all sorts of incidents going on. Arson is pretty scary. Sure is, my dude. What is it? It's not that I don't have anything to do. As you can see, I'm keeping an eye on you right now. <laughs> okay, uh... Oh, can we... Mm. You look tired. We were in the metaverse after all. Ah. Uh, right. I was thinking, didn't, didn't we have to, like, phone, um... 
phone Kawakami from the payphone rather than our own phone. But I guess we can't do that now because it's, it's a it's a late night situation. Um, so, so. Hey. What have we got? Somewhat close to improving knowledge. Somewhat close to improving charm. Miles away from proficiency. Miles away from guts because they just went up. And definitely close to improving kindness. Okay. Were we, were we reading a kindness book? Uh... I guess we weren't in the middle of reading anything. Mm, I wonder what these do. Why would that help me reading a fashion magazine? Okay, well, we have a kindness one. We have a proficiency one. We have a knowledge one. Information about Yongen. wonder what that would do. Charm. And knowledge again. Well, our kindness is due to rank up soon anyway, so maybe we should get going on a charm one. Because that seems pretty far off. Once our kindness goes up, is charm the only one that won't be level 3, I think? So, that's probably a good shout. Yeah. Hmm? You gonna use the store for something? Make sure you well, close up. don't leave a mess. I'm heading home. The ABCs of picking up the ladies. Mm. This picture of the author, that smug grin just irritates me. I'm sure it would irritate me too. Hey, hey. Hmm? Oh, I didn't realize how long you've been reading. So how far did you get? Only halfway through. Seems like you should still have some pages left. You should continue some other time. Do. Sunday. Ah, oh, crap. I can't believe you guys ditched me yesterday. I almost entered a world I want nothing to do with. I just realized that we're going to get screwed out of our evening, aren't we? And it looks like potentially we're even going to be screwed out of our day. So we might not be able to get the rank up drink. And I'm certain we won't be able to go see uh, the sun confidant. Feels bad that this is a Sunday. Um, also... I'm pretty sure we've seen Yusuke in that outfit before, but that is a new look for both Ryuji and Arn, right? I like him. What are you talking about? Nothing. Just start it up, Yusuke. Okay, I entered Kaneshiro's name into the nav, and just as expected, it's a hit. All we need now are the two other keywords: what he thinks of as his palace and where it is. But we don't have any clues other than people falling victim around here. Eh, we'll just have to try whatever keywords we can come up with. Oh, it's gonna be impossible. How many buildings do you think there are in Shibuya? No complaining. If we can figure out what the palace is, we may be able to guess where it is by association. Hmm, it's probably somewhere he's got complete control over. Maybe a garden? Candidates found. He likes money, so what about a money bath? I've seen people online with things like that. Likes money, so maybe a bank? No candidates found. No, not even close. How about it? Can you think of anything? Oh, I would go with the bank. I see. Candidates found. Ho <laughs> ho! Okay, that's a hit. Nice. So. He thinks of somewhere in this city as his own bank. I thought it would be something less realistic. That's all it is, huh? Now then, what location would Kaneshiro think of as his bank? If we're talking about a place where he keeps his cash, maybe his own hideout? How about a real bank? His cognition wouldn't be distorted in that case. Damn it, we ain't getting anywhere. This may be difficult to explain, but doesn't it seem we're thinking a little too inside the box? Palaces emanate a passionate madness. It feels as though we're missing that aspect. The hell are you talking about? 
This palace is a bank for someone who extorts money with criminal acts. It's something more... Something more what? But what other ways can we think about it? Oh, could it mean a place you withdraw money? Hold on. Do you think it might have something to do with the victims? He's taking money from his victims' wallets, right? That means his bank is wherever they are. Maybe school, then? Because his victims are... Well, at least ones, some of the ones we know of are at our school. That's terrible. But you may just be right. Oh, come on! How many people do you think Kaneshiro's taken advantage of in all of Shibuya? Although I don't know if it would... But that would make it the same, like, physical location as the first palace. I don't know if that's allowed. Found. Wait a second. I have a hit. Huh? Oh, wait, what? D did I say something right? The place that Kaneshiro thinks of as a bank is all of Shibuya. Oh. What? Like, the entire city? Apparently. <laughs> I see. That's certainly where his victims are. It turns out he really is a terrible criminal. But wait, is it okay for us to go into the palace right out of a crowd like this? Probably best go somewhere private. Eh, nobody notices if a piece of trash disappears from a trash can. This ain't any different. In that case, let's go. That seems needlessly dangerous. Like, just because you can do it here, why not fucking walk around a corner to some dark alley or something where you're not going to be seen? Because surely someone's going to notice if you just pop out of existence here. Beginning navigation. That really does seem like a stupid fucking choice. What are those? What are those? <laughs> that must be his cognition of people. Oh, that's hilarious. Is that what we're going to be fighting? So this is what Kaneshiro considers a bank. I never thought it would be the entire district. Look around us. The distortion is affecting the whole of Shibuya. Huh? What do you mean? Oh, that's right. Even when we were in the castle and the museum, the city outside looked normal. He sees everyone in Shibuya as his patron. No surprise for a mafia boss. It's best we focus on finding Kaneshiro's location and stealing his treasure as soon as possible. Yeah, his hideout's got to be somewhere around here. Let's go look for it. Okie doke. Infiltration day. Gotta find the entrance. Okay, let's go. In any case, let's look for a bank. There should be a huge one around here somewhere. Oh, these are so funny. <laughs> the walking cash machines. I love it. Hi. Hey. Look at that person trembling over there. Do you think he's a victim? We should talk to him. Uh Do these guys even have mouths? Excuse me, can we uh, please forgive me. What happened? I, I don't have any more. Please, I'm telling you, not even one yen. Come on, man. Whoa, call it. We're not trying to mug you or anything. Please, I don't want to end up like the others. Uh-oh. Were you assaulted? Eek. <sighs> There's no doubt he's a victim, but he can't even hold a goddamn conversation. Let's try someone else. Wait, can we do anything with these doors? They're yellow. But no. Perhaps are those? No. This is terrible. All of these are real people, right? This is effed up. I don't think we can talk to any of the ones here. Damn it. All of these guys are Kanashiro's victims? That would appear to be the case, but there's nobody we can speak to, let alone a bank anywhere. Joker. Let us try checking around the station once more. We may have overlooked something important. The station? Wait, can we get to it through Joker? Here? No, I guess not. Wait! 
Oh, look. Do you think that person's a victim too? Hey. Excuse me. Can we have a word? We are... It's no use. It's all over. I'll end up just like them. What happened? Can't you tell? I've fallen. I've fallen so far. From a place where Kaneshiro leaves no tracks. What do you mean? Hmm. What could that mean? Hey, you gotta, you gotta tell us a little more than... I'm too tired. Please, let me rest. It doesn't look like this one's going to say anything. Kaneshiro leaves no tracks? Does he mean that li literally, or could it be figurative? Hey. Hey, why don't we go all over the... Why don't we go over all the intel we have now? Hmm. They have apparently fallen quite far. Wait a second, they've fallen from a place where Kaneshiro doesn't leave any tracks? Could that mean they were actually thrown down from somewhere high up? Uh... What, you mean like a skyscraper? Uh, there ain't any of those around here, I don't think. No. Wait, what's that? Is that uh... it? <laughs> Yep. Up in the air. No wonder we couldn't find it's it. It's sucking up money like a vacuum. Kanashiro doesn't leave any tracks, huh? Figures it'd be floating. So, uh, how do we get up there? Can you turn into a helicopter, Morgana? <laughs> no. Just a car. Why? Why is it just a car? You're useless! Come on! Don't you have some kind of secret gadget or something? Shut it! I'm not some robot cat. I mean, I'm not a cat at all. This may be the limit of what we can do today. <sighs> we gotta find a way to get up there. Let's think about it some more tomorrow, okay? Oh great, another day down. <laughs> Closer to the deadline than ever before. Alright, we should get out of here for now. Run for it! This time it's not even me procrastinating. <laughs> Pee, 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 pee. I have a new message from Oya. Evening. It's that woman who reeks of alcohol. You free? Yeah. All right, I have a bit of advice for you. It's about that Kaneshiro guy. He's more dangerous than I thought. The police haven't tracked him down, so I dug a little deeper. Turns out he has some real shady connections. I won't say any more than that. Shady connections. He's not someone a teenager like you should mess with. You should really back off, okay? Well, that's all I wanted to say. See you. Proving our justice isn't going to be easy. We'd better discuss this with everyone tomorrow. Ah, Morgana sat down. Just when we find the palace, it's all the way up in the sky. What a pain. I'm sure the police are tired of this guy too. That reminds me, the home shopping program is airing today. <laughs> That reminds you, does it? Okay. You want to check out the TV? Sure. What have we got today? Hi everyone, it's time to do some shopping. Here's what we've got for you today. The supportive gift set. Give this to the busy bee in your life and you'll be sure to get along. One blaring alarm clock and one face beautifier. Both items in one set, what a steal, but that's not all. The busy revival set. With this, nothing will be able to keep you down. Three Revivadrin and ten Recover R 100 milligrams. These will both be in a set. What a steal. Etc, etc. Hey, hey. Uh, the supportive gift set. Oh, another buyer's just called in. Thank you so much. Oh, they've both sold out. This is all the same, isn't it? Yeah. Well then. Cool. Okay. You're living an honest life? You living an honest life? Remember that I'm the one who's judging if you've been rehabilitated. Okay, well, we can't go out. So, uh, let's finish off the book then, I guess. Sure Alright, I'm heading home. Do, 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 do. The XYZs of applying the pickup techniques. Keep looking smooth, even if you drop the ball. Mm. Smug grin. Yep, yep. Oh. 
you finished reading The Art of Charm. It was just a sleazy book about picking up girls, but it did have some good tips on being charming. Hmm. Ding, ding, ding. Nice. <sighs> well, I guess we should go to sleep. Staying up too late isn't healthy, you know. On to Monday. I've been thinking lately. Or on to another of the girls' cutscenes. About those phantom thieves, I mean. If Dad were still alive... Confirmation that Dad is dead. Don't think we've had that before. Sorry, I... I shouldn't bring this up while we're eating. It's okay. Keep going. I just wonder if he would have been on their side. That's all. The only reason you have time to think about that is because you depend on someone else. That's not... You don't have to do a single thing, and you're provided with food, clothes, a home. I've had no time to think on such ridiculous thoughts. Alright, no need to be a bitch. Would Dad have been happy with them? I don't care. He died upholding some lofty sense of righteousness, leaving all his responsibilities on us. Uh, all I was trying to say was... Isn't it about time you grew up and acknowledged our situation? Right now, you're useless to me. What a fucking bitch. All you do is eat away at my life. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Sorry, that was uncalled for. I'm just really tired. Oh, well that's fine then. You were just tired. I'll be eating dinner out from tomorrow on. <sighs> I bet dinner will enjoy that. Hey. There we go, Monday the 20th. 